you know, I have a feeling since I'm talking about a movie like this, I'm probably going to get demonetized for this, but uh, I don't care. I want to talk about this movie, so let's talk about this movie. Hey guys, what is up? This is Matt Deuce, me, once again, welcome back to another movie review, aka after I saw. First off, I want to say sorry for not doing anything special for Halloween. It's just uh, my power went out, and uh, now our internet has been out for a couple days, so we're staying at this uh, hotel till tomorrow, so tomorrow we can get the internet fixed. It's just I really wanted to get these videos out uh, because I, I really wanted to talk about these movies for you guys. Oh, yeah, also, you may have noticed I got a new sweater. You see, it has Morgana on it because, you know, I love the guy. I bought them with me. And Joker right there. Yeah, I got it from a website called Instacoin. It has a lot of video game merchandise from Resident Evil to uh, Doom to other games. They have a lot of clothing. It's really neat. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description. I'm not sponsoring them or anything. I bought this with my own money, but I just really, I really wanted to get this because it looked really cool. So, uh, yeah, with all that being said, let's talk about uh, this movie. Jojo Rabbit is a new foreign-ish film. It's, it's not a foreign language film, but in this movie, um, this is about a kid named Jojo who wants to grow up to become a Nazi and join Hitler's army. Yeah, you can kind of see where this is going. It's kind of a controversial film, but uh, he notices that his mother has been hiding a Jewish girl in in their attic this whole time. And uh, as she, uh, she's, he starts to get the know, to know the girl, you know, his dreams of becoming a Nazi starts getting a little, a little bit more fleshed out, a little more kind of divisive of what he wants to do. He imagines Hitler in his mind. He's kind of a goofy guy instead of like this extreme killer guy. I mean, he still is, you know, the Hitler that we all hate. But, uh, you know, it's a lot more different than that. So, you can see this film was kind of divided with critics. It was released at the film festival, one of the film festivals. I don't know anything about that stuff. All I know is that there are critics out there that really love this movie. There are critics out there that really hate this movie, thinks it's stupid. Uh, let me talk about what I thought of the movie. Because, you know, of the premise, it sounds stupid enough. I mean, it sounds like, you know, this movie, what is this, satire or something? It is a dark comedy movie. But, you know, this movie is a lot more than that, you know. I loved this movie. I thought it was excellently made. And it's not just because of the excellent cast. You know, you got Scarlett Johansson, you got Rebel Wilson, uh, who else, Sam Rockwell. You got a really good cast. I think the little kid that played uh, Jojo did a really great job, as well as the woman in uh, the movie, uh, the girl in the movie, and I cannot believe I forgot what her name was. What the hell is wrong with me? But yeah, you can you can tell just by judging the poster alone and judging the trailer alone that this movie is probably going to be one that you're probably just going to skip out on. I mean, it's a limited released film. So that's kind of to be expected as this film wasn't playing at the theater I work at, unfortunately. It is playing at the lighthouse, though. Thank you, God. Another thing I have to admit is this movie was really freaking funny. I laughed so much throughout this movie. And it's, it's filled to the brim with so much lighthearted and comedic humor that it just goes to show for a film that's supposed to be really serious... It manages to take its lighthearted humor in a smart direction. That is something that I really did not expect. Although, do be expected, this film is, of course, it's going to be pretty dark, especially towards its PG-13 rating. It does go a little bit above that, especially towards the last act of the movie, which is going to have you completely crying, and it's going to make you think of this as a whole other level from its comedic root in the beginning, near the beginning of the film, the, the first half of the movie has a lot of comedic gestures and stuff like that like but there's a really disturbing sequence that happens towards jojo near near the beginning of the movie and this de this movie definitely um like there's makeup effects for jojo because he has a scar i'm not sure if they show that on the poster you can look on the poster i, don't, don't, I could look at the poster but yeah but yeah the makeup effects for his work definitely seems very oscar worthy for this and there's a lot of Oscar-worthy contenders for this. I mean, the movie looks... 
its backgrounds and background design and costume design is absolutely outstanding. You know, everybody does a fantastic job in this movie. This movie just had so much going for it that I really didn't expect it to have. Of course, it focuses also on social commentary, but of course with some lighthearted humor added to it. So it's both a mixture of drama, comedy, and it manages to both make you laugh and cry at the same time. In terms of issues of the movies, uh, there are other characters in the film that come out of nowhere, but I didn't really care much for them. Like uh, there's this, you know, father figure that comes towards the end of the movie uh, that I'm not really going to spoil. And there is this friendship between uh, Jojo and this kid that is around his age. And he's just kind of there just to be, you know, the the friend who seems to be happy all the time, but does want to join, you know, the Nazi crew. So, yeah, there's that. But pretty much it's not just a movie, you know, that involves Hitler and Nazi children and stuff like that. No, it's about a lot more than that. It's comedic. It's emotional. It, fo it focuses a lot on social commentary back into the, into the war from the 1900s. And it's a very well-directed film. I forgot what the director's name was, but I know he's supposed to make some other controversial films. Or not controversial, I don't know. It's just, he's, I think he's a German director as well. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. But obviously, this is not going to be a movie for everyone. But, you know, all in all, I love this movie. I had a great time. I had an hour and 48 minutes of pure comedic and emotional uh, storyline. And all in all, I just had a really fun time with this movie. I'm going to give Jojo Rabbit a 4.5 out of 5. So yeah, I enjoyed this movie a lot more than I expected it to be. And it definitely deserves some Oscar buzz. And I can't wait to see what exactly it's going to go for. So yeah, if uh, the movie still seems ridiculous to you. And if it still seems like it's not going to be a film for you. It's definitely not going to be a film for everyone. It's going to be divisive. It's going to have controversy. But all in all that's what i like about films nowadays you know they can get so controversial that it'll just have people talking and we get, we have a lot of movies coming out this year nowadays that focus on that but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i got more movies to review for you guys thank you guys so much see you guys later word out